The Design Studio photo is currently ablaze. With all of the new motorcycles leaving their factory, one has to wonder what kind of material their designers are working with. The Zijian province-based bike manufacturer appears to be going strong as he continues to produce high-quality bikes. Stepping back from the brand new names in the lineup, one bike was discreetly introduced in the middle of the lineup's all new models. The Kmoto Papio XO1 is without a doubt one of our favorite bikes that we have evaluated this year, and not because of its amazing performance or because it was an absolute joy to ride around corners. Rather, it was just so much fun. I regretfully gave this motorcycle back after roughly a week of ownership. It's noteworthy that I was able to sell one of the bikes to a friend during the loaner time, because such a compact, fashionable, and approachable bike is kind of hard to come by. For a while, I even considered getting one for myself. This bike isn't overly serious about itself. There aren't any staged performances. Every functional component, including the fork and the rear suspension, is colored either silver or black. This makes those parts disappear into the background and highlights the Papio XO1's red and white panels. You will see this bike's towel, the tank, the headlights, and even the incredible amount of detail in the tail portion. The pieces that appear to have holes have actually had holes drilled into them like photo. The list of criticisms is quite short. Although they appear decent, the headlights are not very strong. The rear passenger foot pegs appear more like an afterthought than an integral part of the model's design. The tank is a little square and got in the way of some of our legs during a long ride, and the turn signals are lifted from other Kmoto models, with the exception of the fronts, which are an int. A graded set and specifically fitted for the Papio X01. Nevertheless, I must admit that Kmoto made a great point. The bike is interesting and seems at ease with its own skin, it doesn't appear to be trying too hard to be cool or athletic. Because of the thoughtful design of the bike, which you can take too seriously everywhere we went, people would smile and ask us questions about it, whether it was stopped at a red light or arriving at one of our favorite cafes, when you approach it or go on it, you can't help but smile, since it's so well designed and approachable. You would be partially correct, I suppose, if you assumed that this bike put all of its eggs in the design basket. The maximum power and torque figures for the 125cc single cylinder engine are 9.4 horsepower and 6.8 pound feet, respectively. But during the entire time I was riding my bike, I did make an effort to feel the brakes, gearbox, suspension, and clutch well. For obvious reasons, engine power took a backseat. Although this bike doesn't accelerate like a bat out of hell, the leisurely speed at which you are traveling will make you smile from ear to ear. To achieve any kind of speed, you have to ring this bike out, and that's kind of the idea here.